Yo Bachi 2007, and we're back to catch the latest in foolishness with Rhoda Osman, which is perpetual and continual. So in our last video, which you can get from Yo Bachi on X Twitter or Yo Bachi 2007 on YouTube, our last video, Brick Baby Rhoda accuses a man of fake brick assault and he responds. We showed you a video of the guy, well, we showed you several pieces of different clips and her latest getting beat up at the club. And we're not going to go back through it all, but the uh, main meat of the video was about um, the guy who she's accusing by name of this fake assault that we know didn't happen, as we talked about. You can go watch that video again to go back through that. But um, she's trying to put a, a, a person's name on it to try to solidify her fraud. And so Daphne, a celebrity, a, a celebrity who's also here on X Twitter, she had that vi that video with the audio from talking to that guy, Olan. So here is, uh, she's been all over Rhoda here recently, and we're going to play one of Rhoda's responses talking garbage to her. And before we do that, though, we're going to take a quick moment and hit the like for your boy. Liking is free. Do that real quick. Please also subscribe, and when you do, Hit that notification bell to make sure you're getting videos surfaced to you and you get those alerts. And with that, we're right back to the program. So let's hear Rhoda Brick Baby, Rhoda Bash in the Faces words for the queen of accountability, Daphne. Let's check it out. You think you're fucking with me, but I'm about to lay your ass to rest. See where I'm at? I'm at the cemetery. Bitch, I'm about to lay you to rest. It's coming right back to you. Okay, we see what Ratchet Bonnet Bay had to say there. Um, she never wants to hurt anybody, but she's out here making threats. With, I don't know what this is. She claims she's a Muslim, but she's out here looking like Aunt Jemima, not looking like a Muslim properly adorned to go out in public. And she's doing some Somali hoodoo with this emblem she has in her hand at a cemetery. You think you fucking with me, but I'm about to lay your ass to rest. Also her with the same ain't Jemima, Jemima gear on. You think I want to argue with you losers and bigots? Like, y'all are the worst of the worst. Anybody with intellect, anybody with empathy, anybody that cares about their community is on my side. So all of you guys who are against me, y'all are the worst of the worst. Y'all y'all been discarded. Glad y'all are showing your face. You think I want to argue with you? No, I have a real life. I have a real life that I would love to go back to. So if y'all want to end this back and forth, it can stop. Unfollow me, stop talking about me, and then it's over. And I can go to my life and y'all can go to y'all life. But y'all not going to do that because y'all literally making an economy out of me. Y'all living off a road of the economy. You losers. Y'all can't make money or get attention without mentioning me. So I would never hurt anybody. I love y'all, and I would never do anything to harm anybody. And I would never want to hurt anyone. You think you fucking with me, but I'm about to lay your ass to rest. Okay, so we can see how duplicitous she is with her skeleton uh, Somali hoodoo emblem or whatever that is. So now for the real foolishness that we have gathered for here today. Uh, this particular video right, clip right here came from Grown Woman Vibes. And we're about to watch a video that's being brought to us by Charles in Charge. You'll see a piece of him down in the left corner there. Uh... Rhoda on a Zoom call with fourth wave intersectional gender study banshees all together. And this is some absolute nonsense. Just here you go. All misogynic the men, they all have the same rhetoric, they all have the same rules, they all they're all the same, they are like the same people. So it's so funny that when you meet a misogynist man, he will literally tell you. Don't talk to no other man when you're with me because and then the reason why they'll say and when you say why we know it's part a lot of it is part of possession but when you ask why they say because if you talk to a man you're opening up a conversation and he can harm you and then i have to step in so they know that men will beat you up for no reason for just talking to them they say that to us all the time <laughs> <laughs> oh boy stopped it i never said that to a woman ever have you ever told a woman she couldn't talk to a man while they were out you can't make this shit up uh, they, yeah yes you can they do huh? no what did you do but i literally have been out with men so many times where I, another man says something to me and i say oh uh, can you do that and they're like don't talk to him i'm like why you're opening it up for violence i don't i don't want to have to fight today i'm like i didn't see anything to him so why well, well. 
know when he beat me up because y'all know beat girls up just because their feelings are hurt. Y'all know it because y'all because when y'all with a woman, y'all don't even want her talking to another man because y'all so scared that y'all gonna have to step up. And they told on themselves when this happened, so they was like, what y'all want us to do? You get out here and die? And then we're there. Are and we supposed to protect y'all? What? I know you don't play that. I'm going to I got a baby daddy that will fight for me. If I call him right now and say some man's bothering me, he's he's from Philly. He, wanna, he just want to fight sometimes, I feel like, okay? And I got two brothers that are six foot six. And I got one that thinks, and I have a younger brother who thinks that he's a crib. Sad. But my whole thing is like, I got bro I got men in my life that were willing to fight for me. But the thing is, I would never put them in that position. I have never called my baby daddy and said, come and help me, even though I know he would come running and done that because that's not, I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in bringing them black men in my life to come fight some dusty dude. So she won't call the black men in her life, the black men who she knows to come get involved in violence. But what she will do she won't call the men she knows in her life, but what she will do is call out men who don't know her from the man on the moon, have no idea what's happening in a situation, and call them out for not jumping in the violence. But she won't have the men who are actually supposed to protect her or who have some investment in her as a person. They shouldn't come get in any violence, but random men on the street are supposed to be called into her violence. No, this man just hit me in my face with a brick, and all these black men just watch, and they don't give a. Yeah, this man, this man hit me, he grabbed a rock, and he hit me in my face because I would have given him my number. And all y'all just watch. This is crazy. Makes no sense. She doesn't want to call her baby daddy, who's basically her husband. She doesn't want to call her brothers, her, her, her family, the people who she came out of the same womb from. But she wants random men on the street to be involved in her violence that she antagonizes with her nasty mouth and disposition that you see demonstrated here. That she antagonizes. We know this brick situation did not happen. That is not a brick wound on her head. We showed in the last video what a real brick wound Looks like you would not have smooth, unbroken skin if she had been hit with a brick. Impossible. It did not happen. And you can see in that video, those guys are asking her, what happened? What are you talking about? What, what went down? And she's having to explain it to them in that video. She keeps having to explain it to them because they weren't there because it didn't happen. But just everything she says here and these other bad she she's got going along with her is a bunch of absolute nonsense. I've never told a woman. I've never heard another guy tell a woman. I've never had a friend tell me he told his woman not to talk to a man because it might cause violence. Why would talking to a man cause violence? Because she is a antagonizing, nasty banshee who runs off at the mouth and the, and the thug she's with, because she's a thug, Getting out here in the street, just got beat up by some women recently, she says, at, a, at another club. She gets out there with all this mouth and all of this vileness and all the bile that she's demonstrating and all these clips that we're looking at. She gets out here talking like... Thank you fucking with me, but I'm about to lay your ass to rest. She gets out here talking crazy to guys, and the guys that she's with, the ones who are stupid enough to tolerate her and allow her into their presence, know what kind of disposition and attitude that she has and going around the people that she keeps company with, the type of people who are quick to lay some hands on you, he doesn't want her running off at her nasty mouth at some dude and, and writing a check that then he has to cash because she ain't worth cashing it for. And because it's unnecessary derived violence that she is creating through her despicable behavior and her running her mouth at people, which is unacceptable, which she has no right to do. You don't got a right to talk to crazy to people. You can't back up what you're talking. Keep your mouth closed. But that's the kind of person she is. She's always keeping up mess. She's a hell raiser. She's a Jezebel. And the men that she's dealing with and the other guys she's going around know what kind of woman she is. She's got a baby daddy from Philly who's a, a, a thug who loves to fight. She's got a, 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 a brother who wants to be a crip. She's 
She's out here in the streets always getting into it. This is a low vibes, low class woman. And men, you need to stay away from them. You guys keep dealing with these women because you think, oh, this wild attitude, that's going to be that good raw sex. That's going to be whatever. She's exciting. Oh, I like the attitude, a Fendi bag and a bad attitude. That's all I need to get me in a good mood. Nah, LL, that's some foolishness. And we all, I think, had that mentality at one point when we were young. You know, we were drawn to that. That is absolute foolishness. You have something to live for. You have things in your life that you need to protect and you need to protect your freedom. You need to protect your ability to be able to own a gun legally and not have a record. You need to be able to protect your earnings ability so that you don't have things on your record that keep you from certain jobs and from certain uh, professions and from rising in this world. And you need to stay away from lying, scandalous women with mentalities like all the ones on this call. And that's your calling, men, to be a leader. You start by leading your own life. And that starts by keeping women like this out of your life. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like me up. Hit that like button. And I'm out. You're about to 2007.